Hi guys, Wizman500 here, back with another video, sitting down at the table once again, getting some uh, lure reviews done. Um, just trying to put them out as fast as I can. Um, I've got a lot of stuff on the go. I've got exams right now. I'm doing finals for first semester at school and whatnot, so it's a busy time for me. Also trying to keep stuff organized with the YouTube channel and whatnot. Doing that, plus I got snares to check and stuff, so it's a really busy time, but I'm really glad that I can get out and uh, do these lure review for you guys and I hope you enjoy them and it's going to be a busy month and I stay tuned there's going to be a lot of good stuff coming out and uh, it's gonna, hopefully it'll be a good month for you guys and uh, for the channel as well so today we're talking about another high-end bait this is going to be a little bit more expensive actually quite a bit more expensive than a lot of other lures um, but they are super high quality super high-end I really really love this lure company and that is Live Target. Putting out another Live Target review. Um, here's one that you've seen me fish before. This is a brand new one. That is the Live Target pumpkin seed color. And what a color it re really is on all the Live Target baits. Really great colorations. I really love the colors. So nice. I mean, they're just so, so much detail and so much work is put into them that you just have to look at them for a little bit before you actually cast them out. Some people are actually even afraid to use them because they look so good. But we're talking about another one here today, one that I've had mild success with, um, but still I find it's a pretty good lure, and that is the Smallmouth Bass by Live Target. Once again, just like all Live Target lures, what a lure it is, because look at the colors on it. Let's get a nice close-up, and just stop for a second and look. That is an amazing, amazing coloration. That is really nice. That looks, to me, that looks like a smallmouth bass. The smaller profile body, so it's going to be thinner than your pumpkin sea colors. So it's going to be a little bit narrow, just like a bass. And it has that same overall shape, the same fins, everything. It is really close to what a real smallmouth bass would look like. Alright, so first impressions, like all live target lures, very, very good. When you see these in the store, you cannot help, even if you can't afford it, you, if you just look at it, and just stare at it for a second. Who cannot look at all in awe at the uh, the precision and the detail that's been taken into it? So yeah, the the uh, first impressions are really good, but when we get into price, um, that might turn people away from the lure in that end. Um, as far as scales, colors, and eyes, I think you guys get my drift. How much I love the uh, the the scale patterns, the colors, and the eyes stay in there really well as well. They're not odd, the eyes that are going to fall out or anything, and they're really nice. I really like the eyes. Had no problems with them. I think I had one lure here. Hang on. Oops, that's out of frame there. Sorry, guys. Let you look at that while I dig this one out. Here's this one. I had, yeah, so I had one eye followed on me. Um, that's on the live target pumpkin seed. But as far as, but this is an old lure. This is one that I beat the crap out of. But as far as um, materials and stuff are concerned, the hooks are really good. All the terminal tackle is solid. These are, I don't know how to pronounce it, hooks. I'll throw down a link in annotations. You can go look it up. But they are super sharp. Be really careful when you take these out of the box because they are ridiculously sharp. Terminal tackle up in front here, really good, very precise, well placed. Um, and it's just an overall good bait, well made. Um, the bill and the lip, bill is really nice. I think that's, um, when we get into depth, I think that's uh, three to four foot, I think. Um, same, same size and uh, look as, here I am digging it out again, but the same size and look as this one, basically. That's another live target lure. So pretty much the same size, same shape, and they're basically going to be the same bill and the same quality level as with the rest of the bait. Really, really high quality. You'll have no problems with it, um, just with the rest of the bait. Same with the body. The plastic body, you'll have no trouble with um, with breaking or cracking. I will say that the color will wear out after a while, um, as far as that's concerned, with um, the patterns actually wearing off, breaking, chipping, and whatnot. Not so much breaking, but the chipping. There I go again, digging it out. But uh, here's one that I really, really abuse. That's the Live Target Pumpkin Seed. You can see it's starting to wear out and whatnot. But the uh, the actual body is still really nice and solid. And I can't feel any movement. No cracks anywhere. And the body is still really good. And I think I said in this review 
that even if the color did wear out on you after a while, you could just take it off, um, sand it down, take off all the terminal tackles, sand down the uh, color, and then maybe do your own um, coloration on that as well. So that is an option. I just don't have the gear to do it. I could if I wanted to. Um, but that gives you an option for you guys who are really into tackle and you might want to take on that project if you have some live target lures that you don't want to throw out because they're so expensive. Uh, maybe do that. Maybe make your own twist to it. Weight. The weight's really good for the size of the bait. Um, like I don't know the exact weight offhand. Like I said, it's it's got a couple rattles in it. Hear that? That rattle inside. Really nice and uh, you can really hear it inside and I really like the rattle and you can hear it. It's really nice. Overall length and body length. Let's give you a size comparison here. Let's do a little zoom out. Kind of zoomed in really good here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Not quite that much. A little bit more. There we go. So there we have the live target. Or that's the uh, live target right there. Um, let's see. One that I reviewed. Um, here we go. Here's the large uh, clack and crank. This is a 74 size. This is a big bait, by the way. So it's going to be a little bit longer, but it's also going to be a lot narrower than that uh, than this big crankbait here. Not really a good size comparison. Let me see. Um, hmm, what would be a good size comparison? Don't really have any baits that are this kind of profile. Uh, here we go. Here's a good one. I haven't reviewed this one yet, but uh, it's definitely one that I'm going to review. Here is the, this is a jointed shad wrap. This is a really good comparison. These two are head-to-head. -head. This one's going to be a deep diver, while this one's more of a shallow bait. So these are two that I consider if I was cracking, you know, I got my shallow covered, I got my depth covered. Um, so those are two very high-quality lures, Rappel and Live Target. Um, very nice bill, and this is bigger, but you get the idea with that for size comparison. So it does have a pretty good body length to it, just like you'll see in a little young smallmouth. Um, but very nice. I really like the the color pattern and the size. The size is very, very well matched. And those two hooks, I don't think they really hook together a whole lot. When I was fishing it, I didn't really have a whole lot of problem with that. <clears throat> quality, quality level, like all live targets, and especially for the price you're paying, you want a high quality lure for $12 to $13 a piece. You want a high quality lure and don't expect nothing less, especially from live target. Um, like I say, getting into price, you do take a little bit of hit um, when you get into price, so just watch it there. Um, maybe you can even find it on sale. If you're lucky, you can get them, get them all right, decent prices, but not super, super good prices. Um, so competitive options for ones that meet up to quality level of this one. Um, you, well, you just seen it here a couple seconds ago. Oops, sorry, bumped the tripod there. But here is this one. That's the uh, jointed shad wrap. Maybe not the jointed as much as the actual just regular shad wrap. Maybe even this one. Here's another deep diver by Rapala. Not sure what that's called. Minnow wrap, I think, or something like that. So there's that. Those two there. Um, geez, there's really not a whole lot. Here's another one that kind of fits the same body shape. This is another Blaze, one of those cheap Blaze crankbaits. Haven't had any luck on this one. But you can see that is this pretty much the same body profile as the live target. This one's like $2, this one's, you know, 15 almost. So that gives you a good comparison. This one is also a deep diver as well. Uh, that's really all I have. I don't really have a whole lot besides those ones. Those are the main ones. I say that these three right here, if you didn't want to spend a whole lot of money, um, if you trusted the name of the Rapala, maybe not willing to take the dive of the uh, live target, go with this one. And if you really want to spend some money, then go with the live target. All in all, I can't say anything bad about this lure. Like I said, the quality level is super, super high. That plastic will never, ever break on you. As far as the paint's concerned, like I said, if you want to, you know, take it off after it's wore off and whatnot and do your own paint job. But other than that, really, really nice lures and they work really, really well. Stay tuned guys, Woodsman500 here. Thanks for watching another live target lure review. These lures are awesome. They might be high in price, but they're worth every penny just for the paint job and just for holding and looking at. So stay tuned guys, Woodsman500 here. Lots of live target, lots of other baits and lure reviews to come. Stay tuned.